right? Shalom. First of all, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakwadash. They're saying Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world stupidly and ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son who the world stupidly and ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Rekakodash is the name of the Holy Spirit, all in the ancient Hebrew tongue, the Lashimon Kodash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this truth and rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the brothers out here pushing this word in sincerity and truth. All right, we're back at it again. We have another lesson. We're going to entitle it, Because of Pride, the Cities Shall Be Troubled. All right? Because that's what... That's what we have going on today, okay? After the elections and everything, you know, it hasn't really uh, come to fruition yet because all the votes aren't in, aren't in yet, you know. But I'm pretty sure time when they announce the winner, things are going to start happening, okay? Here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, okay? Who was prophesied to be destroyed, all right? This is, this is not our rest, man. America is not a place for the Israelites to come over here and, and make it, you know, start your business, you want to start your family, oh, I'm going to leave this to my great, great, great grandchildren and all of that, man. This is not our rest. This is not our kingdom. This kingdom is, was given into the hands of the wicked, man, okay? The earth was given into the hand of the wicked, the whole earth, okay? That's why it's, the whole earth was able to be shut down. Okay, by who? Who shut it down? Esau. Okay, the wicked shut it down, man. All right. Yeah. Scripture says this place is polluted. It will surely destroy you. Right. It's polluted. It's wicked. You know, like the brother said, you know, they haven't started. They haven't finished these elections yet. But you know, there's still been rioting. There's people have been uproaring a little bit on a small scale out there in Portland, in D.C. People have reported uh, some activity. So yeah, when this election is over with, and the shit's getting called out, you know, people are going to rise up. The ones that are for Trump, you know, this is more prophecy, uprising of the people, you know, uproars of the people. You know? Right. The ones that wanted Trump to win, you know, they're going to get pissed off if he don't win. The ones that wanted Biden to win, they're going to get pissed off. You know, the Antifa and all these people. And that's all prophecy, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the brother said, we weren't brought here to prosper, you know. And it's time, it's, it's, we were brought here to, for punishment. Right. But for slavery, you know, to be up under these nations, to serve these other nations as punishment for the Most High, because we went off on the law, statutes, and commandments. But our time is almost up. And how do we know that? We know that by the prophecies. You know, earthquakes in diverse places. There was a major earthquake out there in Turkey a few days ago. The uproars of the people. You yep. Know, with and, swords in their hands. And you know, Turkey, Turkey is the place where civilization began again on the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was where that was where the the ark landed, man. Yeah, the ark landed up in Turkey. Mount so, Ararat, right? Mount Ararat. So for the Lord to shake that place up, mm. you know, it's a big sign, man. That's a sign from the Lord, you know. I got a quick scripture, Second Ezra fifteen and eighteen. It says, "For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed." And men shall be afraid. Yeah, because of the pride, man. Most I hate the pride, man. Because of your, your pride, your arrogancy, you know. Uh, because, you know, you went off, your idol, worshiping these idols. Mm -hmm. The Most High is going to destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to rifle your houses, man. It's going to destroy you. Right. And then what the biggest pride thing they have going on is the gay pride. Gay pride, yeah. Okay. America has become a cesspool. You know, and and scripture says, Woe to them that that uh, put good for evil and evil for good. Yeah. You know, now uh, it's a it's a hate crime to say something against a, 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 a homosexual. Yeah. Okay. You can't speak against them. Yeah. Okay. And they allow men, <clears throat> uh, these so called uh, these transgenders, you know, men putting on dresses and able to use the little girls' bathrooms, the female mm -hmm. bathrooms. They allow that. They say that uh, an eight-year-old or twelve-year-old can get, uh, you know, sex change. Sex, sex change operations, man. Without, without permission from their parents. Without permission from their parents, it's, it's wicked as hell, man. Right. That's why these, these cities are going to be destroyed. Right. You know. 
because of that. There's a whole lot of things. And if the if the parents don't agree to have their child sex change, that's like a what they call it, hate crime or, or, or you know child abuse. Child abuse. That's child abuse if you don't let your your eight year old who feels like he's a girl, if you don't let him have his sex change, that's child abuse in this society. And this kid can't even think for himself. Right. You know, you you <laughs> you won't allow a certain age to drink alcohol. You have to be 21 years old to drink alcohol. Right. Right. But you can be a 12 year old and chop your rod off. Right. And the kid has the cognitive. 12 year old has a cognitive development to know that he wants to chop his rod off. Right. Five years from now, he's going to regret that. Oh, yeah. You know? Everybody that, that gets their rod cut off, Red all dead. of them regrets it. It's a high you know? suicide rate amongst them, those uh, transgenders, man. See? People don't talk about that. Yeah, there's definitely a high suicide rate amongst those guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's gay pride, though. That's pride. That's the pride of the city, man. Okay? saying that they could go against the Most High. They know what's written in the law. They know it's going against yeah. the law for them to do those, those type of acts, man. Okay? Yeah, they but they know, don't care. They know about Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, yeah. They read the story about that. Mm -hmm. But they try to switch it up, you know, mm -hmm. to fit their agenda. But they know exactly what the scriptures are talking about. You know? Right. But in their pride, you know, they're going to continue doing what they do. They're going to switch up the Bible, you know. Have a, a gay-friendly Bible, whatever that is. Man. Yep. You know. I got another quick one. Second Ezra 8 and 50, it says, For many great miseries shall be fall, shall be done to them that in the latter day, in the latter time, shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Many great miseries, man. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. The time of trouble is coming for everybody. You know, you know? everybody's losing their jobs. And many great miseries mm -hmm. are coming because of your pride, man. Mm -hmm. Because you refuse to come back to the heavenly Father. Right. You know, you refuse to listen to the men on the streets telling you what it is. You know, you see the news. You watch CNN. You, know, you watch Fox News. You see what's going on in the world. You see what's going on in America. You know something ain't right. You know something's wrong, but yet you refuse to listen to the men of the Lord. You know, that's that pride talking to you. Man. Yeah, that's that pride when a man of the Lord speak to you. First thing jumps in your head is, only God can judge me. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't want God to judge you. You don't want the Most High to judge you. You want to be judged by the, the prophets so that you can get right. You know, exactly. the Most High judges you. That's it. You're dead, you know. Mm -hmm. And the Most High is going to judge He's going to judge two-thirds of you people. Right? For your pride. And for just going off, you know, for being sodish children. Man. Right. That's the sixth in the scriptures. You're, you're sodish children, you know. Yep. Sodish means stupid, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you saw too, you know. Because of your pride. Lying, man. So we done with that scripture? Yeah. So I got one. This is Obadiah uh, verse 3. Because of the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And who is that? Who dwell in the clefts of the rock? Those high-rise buildings ain't nothing but rocks mm -hmm. and, and clefts. Okay? Big caves. That's Esau, the Edomites, man. They were driven into caves, you know. What was it? Uh, like in the 100s, probably. Mm -hmm. 200, year 200, 300. You know, forth from among men. Right. You know, pushed up into those caves. Well, who was it? Who's the king? Was it uh, Zedekiah that did it? One of the Israelite kings, man. He pushed, pushed those Edomites up there, man. Mm -hmm. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. In your pride, you think you're going to go on forever and ever. It has mm -hmm. deceived you. Man. That dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is, is high. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So a lot of you might you think that this world, you think that America's never gonna go down. You know, you think that you're the most powerful country, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're using your blessing. You got the military might. You go to all different other countries, take over the country, bring down their government. So he says, Who can bring me down? Who can bring me down right, to the ground? Right. But the most high is gonna bring you down to the ground, man. How? By these nuclear missiles, man. World War Three. 
and through his elect men when they get that power. It says, uh, the pride of thy heart have deceived you. You know, the deceiver and the deceiver are his, man. The most high. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou hast set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. And when, the, when the Esau you know, set his, his habitation amongst the stars, you know, during that space program, right? yep. as soon as he went up there with his uh, international space station and all that, his Apollo missions going up to the moon, mm -hmm. that's when the Most High started bringing him down, bringing him down, bringing him down since the 70s. Yep. And at the same time, that's when the world was being published, the truth of the Bible was right. being published on, on the street corners mm -hmm. by uh, our elder, our apostle elder, uh, Abba Dimmings, who taught our apostles. Yep. You know, so at the same time, that's when America was steadily going down, man. <clears throat> when he set his nest amongst the stars, that's what that's talking about. Right. That was it on that. Okay, I got a quick one. This is First John 2 and 16. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, Yahweh, but is of the world. Okay? You have to come out of this world, man. You can't, you can't be partakers of the evils of this world with these people, you know, just, just because they're laughing and having a good time right now. That laughter is all going to turn into frowns, man, and, and uh, great misery and tribulation. Okay, and vexation of the heart and vexation of the spirit. Okay, because of the pride, because the Most High hates the pride, and He's going to uh, avenge you for your pride, man. He's going to bring vengeance on you for that pride. Okay, the Most High is not mocked, man. You can't mock the Most High, thinking you could do whatever it is you want to do, and His word is already written. If you do certain things, certain things are going to happen to you. But somehow, you're exempt. Okay? You you special. Oh, I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. And whatever, I don't know how that saying go. And blessed, I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. You're going to see how highly favored you are. You're going to be highly favored for a nuclear missile. Or, or a wild ass animal, animal attacking your ass. Okay? Or famine. Hunger, okay? Yeah. You're gonna be favored for that because you're not serving the Most High. You're serving, you're serving Baal. You're serving Satan. You're serving your own belly, okay? And why are you proud? What, what do you Jakes out there have to be proud of? Man? Right. The scripture says, "Jacob, thou worm." Yeah, you the bottom. You at the bottom. You the what is that? Uh, Last hired, first fired, oh, yep. okay? Yeah, first first man on the uh, front line, they're going to put y'all on the front line in the war, mm -hmm. okay? You got the worst housing, okay? You get the worst land, you get the, the worst part of the foods, okay? Because you don't know that the grocery stores, they have levels of, gro of the grocery stores. The Edomites, them, their groceries, they get the groceries first. Yeah. And then it gets passed down, as it as a as the fool gets older, it gets passed down to Jake. Okay. Yeah. Over here, places like Gelson's, they get the they get the food first, yeah, and the then it goes foods. to Ralph's. Yep. You know, Whole Foods goes to Ralph's. Then it goes to Food for Less, mm -hmm. and then from Food for Less it goes to like Rancho Market. Yeah. You know, the little mom and pop market. So when you get it. The fruit look all dead because it's done been through to five trucks already. It had been through five stores already. Okay, you get it when it's when it's done. Okay, so you're at the bottom. You don't have anything to be proud of, man. Nothing at all, man. You know, you at you at work. You work the hardest, but get paid the least. You're the one doing all the work. Okay, just like the 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 NBA players. The football players, 
the basketball players, the football players, and baseball players, all jakes, mm -hmm. they're doing all the work. You know, seem like they're getting a lot of money. They're not getting a lot of money compared to the to the mm. to the owners, man. Oh yeah, bro. Especially at the college level, they don't get paid at all. Right. Them dudes are risking their bodies, you know, to play sports, but yet it's right. illegal for them to take gifts. Right. You know, if the head coach gets paid millions of dollars, wants to buy this guy a car to come play for him, what's the problem with that? You know. Yeah. What's the problem with him getting a little bit of money? He's risking his body. Yeah, some of them free. don't make out of it. Make well, it out of know. it. They yeah. get, they, they get, uh, what's that, uh, Achilles? Uh, they break their Achilles. So, yeah, they break their knee. Break some their knee. Break their leg. Yep. I forgot the dude's name. He came out of, uh, what was it, a few years back. He was, he was the top prospect running back out of, I think it was Alabama or something like that. Broke his leg. Never heard from him again. Man. See? Lost all that, you know. Yep. It's like they have to sign contracts that force you to play for that particular school. Mm. While the coach, he can do whatever the fuck he want to do, you know? He's not committed to that school, you know? It's right. like, you know, they risk their bodies and stuff mm -hmm. for, for nothing. The same thing going back to these neighborhoods, you know, these grocery stores, same thing with, like, the food chains. You, know, you don't have any real, like, like a tender greens or uh, what else? These high-end restaurants that serve good food. No, you get uh, fried chicken. You know, Popeyes fried chicken. You get uh, what is that place? Uh, you know, Chinese restaurants. They don't even serve you real meat. You know, because you're at the bottom of the barrel. What do you have to be proud for? Man? Right. You know, just because you could put on some Jordans and look fly, every J can look fly. Yeah. Jake can go. Jake can go to Walmart and come out of come out of Walmart with some some gear and look fly. Yeah, that's nothing. Right. Jake can just look fly, going like you said, Target, Walmart, buy mm -hmm. like a cheap polo, mm -hmm. and put it on. It's gonna look fire on him. It's gonna look bright on him. He, he, he just saw puts on that same shirt. The color's gonna look dull. It's not gonna pop. The color's not gonna pop as, as right. bright as it would. Jake. Yeah, it, it ain't about what you wear, man. Yeah. It's like Jake. <laughs> You don't care about the important things, you know? Right. You got one? Yeah, come on. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing mm. than the beginning thereof. And the patience in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Mm. It says, better is the end of a thing. Yeah. And what's the end? And then the beginning. You know, the kingdom, ultimately. Yep. Making it, make it to the end of this race. You know, that's, that's the important thing. You've got to be patient in spirit, you know, to make that, to make it in rape, to make it to the end of that race, to fight that good fight of faith. You have to be patient in spirit, not proud in spirit. You know? Right. You can't be proud. Most I ain't looking for a proud dude. Just mm -hmm. because you can memorize a bunch of scriptures or whatever. Just because you're, you're a good speaker, you're an eloquent speaker. Man, most I don't give a damn about that. Moses wasn't an eloquent eloquent speaker, man. He was slow right. in speech. Yeah. You know? Because I don't give a damn cares about your heart, man. Right. Just because you think you know more than the next man or whatever. Man, hey, man, it's all about the humble, man. Most yeah. I will humble you quick, man. This gift, this gift was a gift of faith to you, man. Mm -hmm. You didn't do anything to be in the position that you're in. I mean, both well, I bless you with a good position or whatever. You didn't do that on your own accord, man. Right. He says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So you always got to have that patience about you, man. That patience of hope. Mm -hmm. You know, the hope that you have a shy. You know, hope that you're part of that elect. Right. Hope that you have a shy is going to deliver you. You know? That, that, that hope comes with patience, man. Yeah? Not pride, you know? Because none of us know... We have a seat on that chair here, man. None of us. There's, there's, there's no room for pride in this thing, man. That it on that? That's it. Okay. I'm gonna get a... Uh, I don't know, maybe you can get it. Mm -hmm. uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 8. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 8. What hath pride profited us? 
or what good has riches with our vaunting brought us? Yep, and vaunting mean to make a vain displays of one's own worth mm. or display. attainments <laughs> to brag. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, now it's not the time to be bragging. The scripture said we're going to boast in the kingdom, you know? But now it's a boasting in what? Right. Boasting in these filthy riches? Right. These, these, uh, these uh, cankered, moth bitten uh, riches that we got. Not even real money. These, these fiat dollars, whatever. The house got asbestos all up in it, you know? Mm -hmm. The car about to break down. Yeah. You bought a lemon, you think you're, you're balling because you went out and spent all your money on, on, a, on a used Mercedes and it turned out being a fucking lemon. Yeah. You bought a house, you know, you owe and you pay, you paid it off, all right, it's paid off. You die, you leave it to your children. Your children don't pay the taxes on it on the house and lose the house. The government can have the house now. You can't own anything in this place. You can't own your car. Your car has to be registered. Okay? When you register it, you're giving it to the state. Alright? Leave it on the street and have tickets on it. You know, the, the limited amount of tickets that you can have. Five tickets, okay? They're going to come and get it. Yeah. Okay, they're going to boot it. Once you don't pay the tickets, they're going to come and get it. And you have to pay an enormous amount of money to get it back. Yeah. That means that it's not yours. If you don't pay the money, you don't get it back. It's theirs. Okay? So we are subject to payments in this place. So why are, you, why are you proud? Okay? I bet they don't, go, they don't go and take the elite's cars. They don't do nothing with them. They have everything they have in this world, they're owning it right now as, as we speak. Yeah. It's theirs. Can't nobody come and take it from them. Okay? Take it, yeah. they, they, have, they have ownership of their own lives even. Okay? Because one of the elites, man, they could kill a person on screen, on, on live TV, and get away with it. Okay? They'll get away with it. They'll so they with it, do whatever they want, man. Do whatever they, they want. They created the law, right? You know, smoke and mirrors, you know. Yeah, but that's why this place is going to get destroyed, though. Because that's not the way that the, the Most High has it, man. The Most High is, is just. Okay, he is just, and, and his laws are just. Esau took up the he, he took up the laws. You know, the scriptures even say, "What are you what." You have to do with my laws. I'm paraphrasing it. Okay? What do you have to do with, with these laws, statutes, and commandments? It wasn't given to you. Oh, but since you took them up and said that, oh, okay, this is going to be the law of the land, then the Most High is going to hold you responsible for keeping those laws. And now every law that the Most High make, you want to go and make a law against it. You know, talking about... Uh, uh, Two, two men can be married and can adopt children, okay? That's going against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, man. <laughs> you know? But that's pride. As if nobody nobody can touch you. Yeah, but turn, turn everything upside down. There you go. That's what they do. You best believe those elites don't have uh, social security numbers. No, they don't. So that's you know they're truly free. Their kids ain't got no social security mm -hmm. numbers, you know? I got some, you know, mm -hmm. Jake thinks going out here making all this money, getting pride for whatever. Yeah, that's the way. It's not. It's the Proverbs 8 and 10. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Yeah, instruction and knowledge is more important than you building up some money, you know, physical riches in here, walking around all pride because, you know, you're wearing the most expensive clothes. Or you want to consider yourself a high value man because you got all this money, you know? That's not important. You know, most I will take all that. It's no thing for, for the most high to make a poor man rich. Most I can make a poor man rich like that, you know? But you, you need to receive his instruction and receive this knowledge of his word. And that's how you cleanse your way, you know?
for wisdom is better than rubies in all things that may be desired are not to be con compared to it. Everything that you can can desire can't be compared to wisdom. Yeah? Right. Wisdom will get you through any out of any situation. Uh, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Fear the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy in the evil way. In a forward mouth, I do hate. The most high hates pride and arrogancy, man. And that's the ways of this world, man. That's why the brother said when we first started, you know, gotta remove yourself from this world. You know? You gotta remove yourself from this world because it is polluted and it will surely destroy you, man. I got a quick one. You finished with that? Go on, bro. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus Sirach. Uh, five, I'm going to start at one. It says, Set thy heart upon thy Set thy heart upon thy goods and say not, I have enough for my life. Mm. Okay? You're not supposed to put your, put your mind on the things that you have, you know? It says, Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart because the heart which is your mind is the most deceitful of all man okay lean not upon thine own understanding man you're supposed to lean on the instructions that was given by this word okay it says and say not who shall control me for my works for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride okay the Lord is the Lord is coming for the prideful man you know that that's so proud to where it's when they when they think about the Lord they they like boosie like oh, no nah, fuck it fuck that man tell the Lord tell the Lord shoo 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 mm -hmm. you know that's that's how proud our people are man okay and not not even think talking about the, the heathen man their pride is out the roof out the roof as well okay it says say not I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, and it's like He will know, He will in no wise let thee go. <laughs> you didn't get away. You didn't. You didn't get away. Yeah, you ain't gonna get away. You get away from the missiles, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, don't get us wrong. There's nothing wrong. You know, having money or whatever. If you were blessed with a good job, you worked hard or whatever, got you business or whatever here in America. Right. Scripture say that money is the fence. Right. So yeah, if you're supposed to go out there, you know, get a hustle and do what you need to do, make some money, you know, so that you can, you know, be feel like a man, you know. Be a man out here. Right. But you ain't supposed to put your whole spirit into it, man. You ain't supposed to be lusting after it. You know? Right. You think most I can take it from just like that. You call it chasing a bag. Chasing a bag, yeah, you know. They even put a term to it. Ain't that something? Chasing the bag, getting the dough, they always had a, a term for it. Yeah, they, that's our people, man. That's just how wicked Jake is with that hip hop shit. Mm -hmm. Always coming up with some new wicked shit. Yep. You know, some new slang, you know. But, uh, got a scripture. This is Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of a man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of men shall be, be bowed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty. And every one that is lifted up, he shall be brought low. Yeah, man. <laughs> it says right here, the lofty looks of men shall be humble, man. Most high is going to humble you. You know? You got this proud spirit about you, proud attitude, proud lips, proud words. You know? Most high is going to humble you. It's going to bring you down low. You just read it. The lofty looks of men shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. Mm -hmm. You know, that's <laughs> including these other nations, man. The scriptures say they're going to bow down and lift the dust of the feet of the elect, man. All these other nations that are proud, they want to look down on Jake, you know. Esau. Yeah. You know? I got you, you know? right here. Uh, you, were you finished with that? Uh, you can go ahead. Okay, this is, uh, I'm just going to read this one. Ecclesiastes 10 uh, and 15, it says, The Lord hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted them 
and, and planted the lowly in their place. <laughs> so the, these nations are going to get rooted out. And who is the lowly? We're the lowly right now. The Lord is going to replace, replace them with us. We're going to be the ones in rulership. Okay? Yeah, going back to Isaiah 2 and 12. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty. Mm -hmm. The day of the Lord, man, that's going to be proud. <laughs> that's for the proud jinx and you proud nations out there, man. Yeah. That's for you. For you to be destroyed, man. And upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. So all you elites out there, you'll be brought low, man. The scripture say, I'm seeking out many, many fishers. And then he's going to seek out many hunters. And he's going to, uh, those hunters are going to seek you guys out, man. The elites that are on high, to bring you down low. To put you in them pits. Slapping chains on you. You know? Okay, I got one. It's Ecclesiastes 10. I'm going to start at 12. It says, The beginning of pride is one is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. Okay? And you think now, now you made, you, you made yourself. No one is over you. Okay? You don't have a God. You don't believe in, in a God anymore. Okay? You don't believe in the Most High. You know, you, you think it's you, the one that set yourself up, okay? It says, 13, it says, For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Okay? The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes, and set up the meek in their stead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the most high is dealing with the meek. The yep. meek of this earth, the humble. Man. And right now, just <laughs> the elect, you know, they're the only ones that are meek right now. And he's going to put them in their stead. He's going to raise them up as princes, as governors, you know, the meek of this world. Right? Yeah. That's who the most high is dealing with. You know, this Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So yet yeah, all the proud and all that do wickedly, man. So it's not a good thing to do. That word proud is completely all throughout the scriptures, man. Yeah. Most high, we can't say it enough. The most high is only dealing with the humble. The ones that have a contrite and humble spirit. Okay? Look up that word contrite, it means to be broken in spirit, to be remorseful of going off. In the street, right. man. You have to be, you know, mostly, you're going to boast in the kingdom, man, when you have something to boast about. Right. You know, now is not the time to boast. Right now, the wicked and the proud are going to catch these missiles, man. Mm -hmm. See, how people have not yet acknowledged their sins. They haven't acknowledged their offense. Never acknowledge the offense. They don't consider that the Lord is bringing all these calamities, and especially when you have your personal calamities, He's bringing those things on you because of your pride and because you would not repent and acknowledge your offenses that you have done unto the Lord. Okay? So those things are going to continue to happen to you until you do that. And ultimately, time is going to run out. The grace period is going to run out. And then you're going to be faced with all kinds of calamities that the Lord is going to bring. Famine, the sword, pestilence, and ultimately those nuclear missiles, man. Okay? I got a quick one. I'm a, this is Baruch 4. Uh, I'm going to start at 31. It says, Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities, because that's the name of the, the, the lesson. These cities going to be troubled, which, they, which thy children served. Read that again. Miserable are the cities which thy, which thy children served. 
miserable is she that received thy sons. Okay? Because these these cities have been, done nothing but like the scripture said, licked our wounds, all the other nations. Okay? They've taken everything that we've got. They come set up shop in our neighborhood, take all our money, treat us like crap, you know? But they're going to get paid back for that. Verse 33, it says, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, from the most high, long to endure. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Okay. So the Lord is coming to destroy this place, man. Regardless of what you think and how you feel. Oh, but I don't think that's good. I don't feel like the Lord uh, is going to do that. Everybody ain't bad. All the white people not bad. You know, all of that. Most I don't care about your, your opinion. Sure. Your opinion means nothing, man. Yep. Only, only opinion is, is the scriptures, man. The word. That's the only word that matters, man. That's the only thing that's going to last and, and stand the test of time. Okay? It's going to last through all this destruction. Okay? The word was from the beginning, and the word is everlasting. Okay? Mm -hmm. and you're supposed to have that mournful spirit anyway. Yep. You say it's better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting. Yep. There's nothing to party about, you know? There's nothing to be happy about, really. We're at the bottom, man. You know? It's dregs. It's dregs, you know? The missiles are coming, man. That's why you got to have that lowly spirit, that contrite spirit about you, man. This is uh, James 4, book of James 4 and 9. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. So yeah, be miles and miles of time to be in uh, the house of, uh, what do they call it, the house of feasting. Now it's up to time. You know, the city's on lockdown. You know, time and checks and chokes right around the corner. You don't even think about and evaluate yourself. And if you're right in front of the eyes of the Most High, man, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, we're in serious times, man. Mm -hmm. Not saying you're supposed to be heavy in spirit all the time, you know, but for the most part, you know, you got to have that serious mindset right. about you, man. That humbled mindset. <laughs> Supposed to be meditating on these scriptures, man. Meditating on the Lord, mm -hmm. keeping your mind in the kingdom, okay. Knowing that this is not our rest, okay. That at one one day we're gonna be out of this, man. Okay, we're gonna be in the kingdom. All right, but it's getting to that point, yeah. and how you get there, okay. Sacrificing, like the uh, elder Yasha Wamba always, always say. Being that, being that worthy sacrifice, man. Okay. Being that 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 sacrifice that the Lord can accept, man, an acceptable sacrifice. You know, sacrificing your time for this truth, man. Okay. That's the only thing that's going to get you out of this, man. Okay. Not pride. Pride is going to get you destroyed. Okay. Putting it off from day to day. You know? So, so we lost everything. I mean, Jake can't seem to understand that. We lost everything. Mm -hmm. you, you, even two thirds are done. You know? Going online, going to Instagram, YouTube. Jake is gone, man. Right. We lost our people. We lost our women. We lost our men. We lost our language. Everything. We're just. We're nothing. What the hell is there to be proud of? For real. We're, we're worms out, the, out here in the right. man. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Yeah, the heart of, of the wise is in the house of mourning. 
But the heart of fools is in the heart of mirth. See? A bunch of fools out here in that, that mirth spirit. Man. Right. Here it is, the clubs are all shut down. You're still in that in that mirth spirit. Yeah. See? <laughs> We gonna make the club at the house. Just come to the house. We gonna we gonna have a club here. You know, we gonna do everything and more here at the house. You know, just being wicked, man. How people can't help it. You know, party and BS spirit. Man. It says sorrow is better than laughter, or by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, your mind is made better. Man. Right. Because it helps you grow stronger. Yep. Just like with Paul, you know, he had that, he said his infirmities, infirmities made him strong, man. In weakness, I am strong, you know? And we're going to have enough time in the kingdom to party and do whatever it is you want to do for eternity. Okay? This is a short, this is a short time. Okay? In a in a in a in a small price to pay for the gift of eternal life, man. That the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to bestow upon the Israelites. Mm. Okay. This is a short a short time. Okay. You ain't got a party now. Party when it's when it, when we're in our kingdom. We want to party in this nasty mug, man. You know. You at the club, you dance with a girl, and it ain't even a girl. It's a. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, she okay. got a man or something. You know? Yeah, she got a man. Yeah. She used to be a he. She used to be <laughs> Okay. I got a quick one. This is uh, Psalms 10. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Because the Most High is going to hide Himself in times of trouble from you two thirds, man. Y'all don't want to get right. It says, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor, Esau. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Because they have a lot of devices imagined upon us, man. They've used some of those devices already. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous. Whom Yahweh abhor, the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Yeah, the Most High is not in all their thoughts, man. You know, man, the Lord will live. They wake up, first thing they wake up, they're thinking about the Lord. Right. Thinking about the truth. Yep. You know? You got guys, they go all day, don't even think about the Lord, man. Don't even care about the scriptures or wisdom or knowledge or any of that. Right. And if you're an Israelite, that's what you were, that's what you were born to do. Yeah. We are born for the service of the Lord, man. The service of the Lord belongeth to the Israelites. Okay? As well zeal. as the covenants. You got that zeal, but not according to knowledge. Right. The promises, the law, you know, all that belongs to the Israelite, not the other nations. The other nations are going to take our, pla our place on struggling with the law, statutes, and commandments when we're in the kingdom. The Lord, the Lord is going to program us or write his laws in our heart, in our minds, so we, we will never sin again. But the other nations... We're going to give them the law. Okay? And then they're going to have to keep the laws. Yeah. And struggle with the laws. Alright? And get bashed over the head. Yep. Okay? Like the Lord, like the Lord punishes us, they're going to get punished as well. Okay? So, no. Uh, Sirach 11 uh, 14 Prosperity and adversity Life and death Poverty and riches Come from the Lord mm. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding Of the law Are of the Lord no, Love 
and the way of good works are from him. So why are you proud? What did you do? Your prosperity or your adversity came from the Most High. Mm -hmm. Your life and your death came from the Most High. The issues of death are from the Most High. The Most High gave you life. Right. These women over here claiming that they bring life. You don't do shit. But incubate. You incubate the flesh to where it grows up and in your belly. Right. The Most High put the spirit in that body. Mm -hmm. And he puts the seed in her body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. The poverty and riches come from the Lord. So why are you proud? Man? Why are you mad? Right. You know? <laughs> that was it. Okay. I got a quick one. This is Jeremiah 13. I'm going to start at 9. Actually, I'm going to start at 8. It says, Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Thus said Yahweh, after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah mm. and the great pride of Jerusalem. So the Most High is going to cut all that pride out from Israel now. This evil people, talking about the Israelites, which refuse to hear my words, okay? Because the prophets has been out there all day long, all night. You can get the word 24-7, okay? Which refuse to hear my words which walk in the imagination of their own of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them and shall even be as a slight slight shall even be as this girdle which is good for nothing so all that you're doing in this world your pride going after those other gods is good for nothing because the lord says when your calamity comes do what? Call unto those gods that you was praying to. Call unto them. That's how the Most High feel. Call them. Yeah, see what they can do. See what they gonna do. Okay? That's how the Most High is talking to you. Call them. Oh, you love them so much. Call them. Don't call me. The Most High said he will mock when your calamity comes. Okay? He gonna, he gonna, he gonna be laughing. Cause you laugh, you laugh at the prophets right now. You laugh at us. Yeah. Call us cra call us crazy. Oh, that's just a book. Okay. Just a book. It's the book of life, man. Yeah. That was it. God. Uh. We start closing it out now. A couple God. more. God. Yeah, so, uh, it said something, I forgot what it was, it was, you know, it was a precept on it. Yeah, you know, men of the Lord are out there, you know, blowing that trumpet, trying mm -hmm. to get you to wake up, and you need to hurry up, you know, the time is short. Time is short. You're seeing that with these prophecies. You know, you just watch the news, go online. You know, you see this World War Three is building up, man. Mm -hmm. And there's been a couple times where the prophets aren't going to be on the streets. You know, we got a small taste of that during the COVID, when the first COVID hit. You know, the prophets weren't out there. Right. You know, but you know, all those sides grace period went on, so you better back out there. But it's going to come a time when you ain't going to be out there no more. Mm -hmm. It says it's going to be a famine. Famine of the word. Famine of the word. Not of meat and, and, and drink, but a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. You know, and that's going to be the worst famine. I got a quick one. Uh, Proverbs 16, I'm going to start at 16. It says, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? It is, it'll be, it's wise, it is wise to, get these, to get these precepts while you can. To get this word into you while you can. It says, and to get understanding rather to rather to be chosen than silver. Your understanding of these of these scriptures, man, not that plantation Christianity prosperity doctrine which they teach in these churches, man. They don't teach nothing, nothing concerning these scriptures are taught in those churches, man. The understanding is with the men of the Lord. Alright? It says 
the highway of the upright is to depart is to depart from evil. Mm -hmm. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth for this pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. Divide the spoils with the proud. Right. Because the proud are going to be destroyed. Yep. That's why you don't want to divide the spoils mm -mm. with the proud, man. Mm -mm. The spoils are going to be those nuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want no part of that. I know I don't. You know? So, you got another one? Con, is, uh, you know, the teachers aren't in the corner no more. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And you're seeing the teachers now throughout the YouTube, throughout the streets, man. The time is short, man. He saw us moving faster and faster because he knows he has but yet a short time. And thy ear shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. And when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. So you're hearing that little voice in the back of your head saying, Hey, this is the way, walk ye in it. Yep. Walk ye in it. Yeah. Take hold to this word, to this truth. Yep. You know? And just move forward with it, man, because the time is short. Yep. That's it. That's it. Hey, because of pride, the cities shall be troubled, man. We're headed into that time right now, so keep your garment, you know, which is just truth, man. I, not t-shirts with fringes on it. You walk around all day, tell me I got my garment on, yeah. okay? <laughs> you know, and, and, and don't, hey, don't listen to these other groups, man. It's the way word doctrines are going out there, man. You know, talking about what it is is gay to, to talk about Jacob's troubles, you know, to fear Jacob's troubles is gay. All that madness, man. Yeah. yeah those are the ones where the Lord's gonna laugh about you know, their calamity, man. Right. You know. Yep. Speaking of that madness. Right. You know, well, how would that be gay? Jacob well, here it is, we're warning you. We're blowing you the trumpet, saying, Hey, the time of Jacob's troubles coming, man. We're warning you. You know, we're looking after you people, man. Yep. You know, we're doing the word of the Lord, man. We're yep. giving warning from the Most High. From Him. You know, bad times are coming, man. Concentration camps, you know. Riots. Race riots. With swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. Being gunned down. Mm -hmm. There's militia groups already. Trump ain't, if Trump don't win these lawsuits, hey, they're going to move, man. Yep. Ultimately, the nuclear missiles, man. Yep. You don't want to get caught up in, in, in that nuclear hellfire, the lake of fire, man. Mm. The second death. Mm. You know, mm. So I don't know what's gay about that, man. Right. We're supposed to be hastening the day, man, you know, of the Lord's coming. Not talking about, oh, just sit back and do your time. What? Your release date, if you're in jail, your release date is the only thing that's on your mind. Yeah. Our release date from this place, man, is when Yahweh, by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, cracked those clouds, man. Yeah. Okay? That's what we're looking forward to. So you can call it whatever you want to call it, man, but you're going to get caught up, at, caught up out here, man. Because the Lord ain't taking no shorts, and he ain't playing no games, man. All right? Yeah. The Lord is doing it. He's going to do what he said he was going to do. It's all written in the scriptures. And the prophets are bringing it to you play by play. And now that these uh, prophecies are coming to pass, now uh, uh, <laughs> you see Chai, uh, uh, tried and refined. You see them came, they try to come back oh, after well. a year. <laughs> dry, dry bone. They, they are tired, tired, tired. It's, it's, it's saddening and sickening. But hey, you know, scripture say, you know, it's impossible to come back once you put down the plow. Right. You put down, you can't come back. Yeah. The demons are gonna hit you seven times more, man. That yep. demon that left you when you first came in, mm -hmm. he's gonna come back and bring seven more demons with him. Right. 
it's as if you should have never even came in the truth at all. That's why this truth is so serious, man. Right. You gotta run that race. You gotta finish. You gotta endure it to the end, man. That's you right. Can't put down the plow. Yep. You made that contract with Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. Here it is Yahweh Shai went up on the cross for you to get this second chance, and you put down the plow, man. Right. You. Yeah. He went all the way, but you you're not going all the way. We're supposed to endure to the end, man. Keeping this word, man. Holding on to it like it was a a, a little baby, man. Okay, your firstborn. All right, you protecting it. That's what this truth is to us, man. You know, it's a newborn baby to us, man. Okay, that's helpless. We have to we have to protect it. You know, and keep it on us. We have to tend to it. We have to pick it up and feed it. You know, with our time. All right, our thoughts, our whole being. You know, nurture it up in us so our faith could be built up for the time of the end, man. When the Lord brings all these calamities, okay? And we are right around the corner, you know? And they see it, and they like, oh, shit, we better jump back on. You can't jump back on the bandwagon. It's over, all right? That's why you got to fear the Lord. Fear that too. and trembling. Man. Yep. And, and, hey, and humble yourself, man. You can't have that pride demon on you like, like, oh yeah, the Lord dealing with me, you know. He ain't, he ain't dealing with the apostles. That's what that, hey, when they came against the apostles, it was over for them. If you learn the truth from the apostles, now you want to buck up. That's, man. Yep. I got one more scripture. This is uh, okay. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always mm -hmm. that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Right. It says, watch thee. What's that reading from the beginning? Watch ye therefore and pray always. Pray always. So we're supposed to be watching and praying the whole time. You're not supposed to take a year off. The last time they had a video up was, oh, I think it was August 16th uh, or August 19th, 2019. That's over a year ago. Okay, so what it have what what has your baby or, or your flock of sheep, what have they been eating all this time? After a year, they're dead. If if they were dependent on you to feed them, okay, they're dead. After three days, they dead. Alright? So watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Mm. That's what we want to do. We want to be accounted worthy to escape so that we can be hid from the in these times, man. The Lord can hide us. Right. You know, and ultimately deliver us. Yep. And to be stand and to stand before the Son of Man, stand before Yahweh Shai, and be accounted worthy, man. That's that's gonna be an amazing thing, man. You don't want the Lord to reject you, man. Right. You want the Lord to say, I have not known you. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, you know, is going to make it to the kingdom. You don't want the Lord to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Mm. You don't want that day. Man. Right. That was it? That was it. Man. So, with that, Lord willing, it was edifying lesson, you know. Until the next time, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to you brothers out here pushing this word in sincerity, truth, and in faith. Shalom. Shalom.